So please tilt the unlit candle to the lit candle. With those lighters, please go ahead and light your candles now, and we'll begin the lighting ceremony. As you are all lighting your candles, we will have guests come on speak upon Molly's behalf. Um, hello, my name is Jake Tibbetts. I'm the brother of Molly Tibbetts. I'd like to start by um, just thanking everyone um, that that doesn't know Molly, didn't know Molly, but felt felt the need to come support our family. Um, you know, from our family, from our friends, from the community of Brooklyn, um, we thank you from the bottom of our heart. Uh, <clears throat> we, uh, you know. The stories you've all heard about Molly over the last month, they're incredible. She was incredible. And we, uh, you know, we're going to miss her dearly. But to be honest, what made her so special was she was just like anyone standing here. Um, she loved to run. She loved Harry Potter. She loved, she loved the Hawks. Um, she, she loved her family. She loved her friends. She was goofy. She was clumsy. Um, you know, she made mistakes. She owned up to them. She fought with her siblings a lot. Um, and we're, that's what we're going to miss the most is her just being her normal self and us, you know, us being our normal selves around her. And uh, we're just, we're never going to have that sense of normalcy again. Um, what made her so special is she was so, so outgoing, so loving, so passionate. Um, she wasn't a silent person. Um, in the literal sense, and that when she talked, everyone in the room heard her, um, and also about things she cared about, things she was passionate about. You know, she wouldn't stay silent if she felt something was wrong. Um, that's what's so great about her. Um, and so, one thing I want everyone to do tonight, because she was so outgoing, um, take a couple minutes here and find someone you've never met before and uh, talk to them, meet them, and make a new friend tonight because that's, that's what she would do. She'd make friends with every single person in this crowd if she could. Um, so take these next couple of minutes to turn around and um, say hi to someone, make them, make them feel special.
this for five minutes and it could possibly save your life, and it's a whole list of like defense mechanisms and what to do, what not to do, and such so a So, yeah, the It's crazy how you didn't realize how much stuff's going on around it, and then. Okay, um, I hate to break up the party, um, but thank you. Um, you know, your new friends, I, I hope you were able to uh, exchange contact information, be in touch with these people you just met, um, and you can always attribute that friendship you just made to my sister, and that would mean the world to her, um, knowing that, you know, a thousand people just met a new friend tonight in her name. And the last thing I want you to do, um, you know, don't associate this with the one bad thing that happened. Um, you know, this shouldn't be remembered for one terrible act. This should be remembered by all the countless good acts that happened following it. Um, you know, the town of Brooklyn, Iowa, waking up at five in the morning to search cornfields, cricks, and ditches. Um, a thousand students coming to a park to hear someone speak about someone they've never met before. Um, you know, the countless people that have called our family from across the country um, just crying and telling us that they're sorry and that they wish they could do something. Um, all of that stuff is a result of how much people loved and adored Molly that never had the chance to know her. Um, and so, you know, carry on, carry on her legacy. Remember this is a time that a country came together for one girl. One girl that loved everyone, one girl that loved everything, and wanted the best for everyone. Don't remember this as the time, um, you know, someone made a very poor decision and, uh, you know, took a girl away. Thank you so much. Brett Goodman and I'm a first year here. I was blessed to know Molly pretty closely. She and I have been friends for numerous years. But I think the most important thing about Molly is that she was friends with almost everyone that she saw. Even if it was just passing her on the way to class, she would smile and you would feel some sort of comfort because, hey, that really short girl just smiled at me. Uh, this day's gonna be good. That was kind of the embodiment of Molly. She was going for a psychology, so she really did care about people. She cared about what they thought. She cared about how they thought. She cared about what they felt. And it just, you never realize that one person could care so much. I was petrified to come to school here. I came from a small town 10 minutes away from Brooklyn, Iowa. Graduated with 37. Now I have to come to a school of over 30,000. But Molly cared about me and she was going to make sure that I was okay. She was going to make sure that I felt welcome. And she was going to make sure that I had fun. And I am forever grateful for Molly. I think the one thing that we should all take away from this is to smile, is to care. If you're going to class, take your headphones out. And if you see someone who looks like they're having a bad day, just smile at them. 
because you never know what that could do to them. You never know how that could affect them. Keep your head out of your phone when you're walking to class. If someone needs to be sat by on the bus, sit by them on the bus and talk to them for the 30 seconds that you're on. Make the new friend, just like Jake said. The last five minutes of meeting people, making a new friend, is just spectacular. Embody Molly as you go on. Embody every generous and caring and loving person that you know. Don't take for granted the people around you either. Love them, tell them you love them, show them you love them, show them you care and show them that you're always going to be there, just like Molly did. I was ecstatic to start my first year of school with Molly. Her and I went to different schools, but we knew each other all throughout high school, and she was a year ahead of me, so the last year she prepped me, she prepared me, she got me ready for classes here at Iowa, and there was nothing that I was looking more forward to than starting classes with her. So the last month, Having to think about not starting classes with her was devastating. Having to think about not seeing her on campus was devastating. But from this day on, Molly will always be with me. She will always be with us. And so it's our duty and it's our job to spread Molly around, to make sure she stays on this campus to make sure that she stays in the state, to keep her spirit alive, because it is alive and it is well. And I think just the one thing that I know I personally am going to do is, I'm going to tell the people around me that I love them more for sure. If someone seems like they're having a bad day, I'm gonna reach out to them and say, hey, are you okay? Do you need someone to talk to? Because that's exactly what Molly would do. And I challenge you guys to do that as well. Even if you don't know the person very well, just a simple gesture of you caring can go a long, long way. So be aware. Talk to people. If you need help, get someone to talk to. Because she cared so much about mental health. She cared so much about how people would think and how people felt. So don't be scared to talk to someone. Don't be scared to get help. Don't be scared to put your foot forward. Don't be scared to put yourself out there for Molly. Thank you guys so much. With the absolute most love, grace, and compassion, Molly left the strongest impact on this world. Now, join us together as one community, one unit, one force of love and support in a moment of silence for Molly and her life.
Thank you again for joining us to honor and remember Molly Tibbetts and others. They were part of the Hawkeye family and we are all mourning and grieving at this time. I encourage those who need support to contact University Counseling Services, the Women's Resource and Action Center, Student Care and Assistance, Association of Campus Ministers, or reach out to a friend, colleague, RA, or other support resource. We have the North Room, South Room, First Floor Boardroom, as well as the Dean of Students Office and the IMU available for you now. In addition to the resources I mentioned, staff from the Iowa Memorial Union, Center for Student Involvement and Leadership, and the Multicultural and International Student Support Engagement are available if you wish to speak with someone now. During this difficult time, we are reminded of the importance of community and accepting emotional support. This is a time for us to come together to help each other and love each other. As I said in my speech to the first year students, that although difficult things may happen to our community, to our family, you are never alone in your adversity here at Iowa. We encourage you to practice self-care and be kind with one another as we close out the evening. You are welcome to reach out to the Dean of Students Office if you are in need of any accommodations in your classes. Supporting one another is important now more than ever. Please let us know if there is anything we can do to support each of you. We also wish to extend our love, support, and strength to Molly's family, friends, and loved ones, in addition to all of those who may be grieving at this time. We're here for you. We support all of you. Thank you again for joining us.